Step into the thrilling world of T.J. Hooker, the 1982 TV series that's packed with action and drama. Brace yourself for a roller coaster of emotions from laughter to disbelief to tears as you enjoy the classic show. Ever been curious about the behind the scenes stories or how a particular scene affected its viewers? Well, get ready for some interesting, funny, and sad facts. Did a specific moment in the series really stick with you? Or do you remember the first time you watched? Share your stories and thoughts with us in the comments. Let's dive into the world of TJ Hooker and explore its depth, impact, and legacy. Don't miss the excitement. TJ Hooker, a TV series from 1982, had a big effect and left a long-lasting mark. It's still important today because of how it showed law enforcement, told exciting stories, and had characters people remember. The show starred William Shatner as a tough police sergeant training new officers. It showed police work in a tough and real way, dealing with hard topics like crime, bad behavior, and fairness. The main character's tough but caring way of doing police work was liked by viewers. One reason the show is still important is how it influenced other police shows. It set a standard for exciting stories and characters that many shows copy. You can see T.J. Hooker's ideas in modern shows that talk about similar things and have similar characters. Also, T.J. Hooker talked about important problems of its time, like drugs, gangs, and how hard it is to be a police officer. By talking about these things, the show made people talk about them and see how hard policing can be. Also, the friendship between the characters, especially between T.J. Hooker and his young partners, made the show more interesting. Their relationships and how they changed during the series made people want to keep watching. To sum up, T.J. Hooker is important because it showed real police work, had exciting stories, and had characters people remember. It set a standard for police shows and talked about important problems of its time. William Shatner, famed for his portrayal of James T. Kirk in Star Trek, led a successful five-season run in a mid-season replacement series called T.J. Hooker. It matched the longevity of Star Trek, the original series, and another Shatner starring show, Boston Legal. The name Hooker pays tribute to Civil War Union General Joseph Hooker. The character Jim Corrigan likely hails from Irish descent, as evidenced by his surname meaning spear in Irish and the anglicized version of Sheridan being derived from the Irish Osiridian surname. Shatner's performance as the titular character earned acclaim throughout the series' run. Lee Bryant and William Shatner both portrayed panicked airline passengers in other productions. Bryant appeared in Airplane, while Shatner featured in the Twilight Zone Nightmare at 20,000 feet and Airplane 2 the sequel. The uniforms worn by Hooker and his fellow officers remained consistent throughout the series, featuring long sleeve shirts with ties and heavy jackets for colder weather. Short sleeve shirts and uniform hats were never worn by any officers. Standing at 5 foot 9 inches, the producers ensured that all regular cast members were equal to or shorter in height than Shatner. Taller guest stars were often filmed separately to avoid drawing attention to Shatner's true height. Heather Locklear is widely recognized for her roles as off. Stacey Sheridan on the show as Sammy Joe Carrington on Dynasty and as Amanda Woodward on Melrose Place. During and after the series, William Shatner maintained a friendship with her. In the series, the protagonist is identified by his first and middle initials before his last name on his name badge, unlike other officers who only have their first initial and last name. Heather Locklear, William Shatner, and the unique name badge detail are notable aspects of the series. Heather Locklear worked on two series simultaneously Dynasty and T.J. Hooker. Before joining the LCPD, Jim Corrigan, a former member of the San Francisco Police Department, also pursued a side gig as a race car driver. In one episode titled A Kind of Rage, it's revealed that he speaks fluent Spanish. The show's typical plotline involved a crime occurring, Hooker engaging in a car chase, and subsequent detective work by Hooker and his colleagues while the criminal continued to evade capture. The pursuit cycle would repeat until the suspect was either arrested or met an unfortunate end. T.J. Hooker, which premiered in 1982, is notable for several interesting facts surrounding its production and character development. One intriguing aspect involves James Darren's character, Jim Corrigan, sharing a name with the human host of the DC Comics character, The Spectre. Another noteworthy detail is the involvement of Bob Grogan, a detective who worked on the Hillside Strangler case in Los Angeles. Grogan was initially hired as a technical advisor for the show, but was subsequently fired for criticizing rewrites of his ideas.
Throughout the series, each main character experiences recurring patterns of adversity. TJ Hooker typically gets shot, with injuries almost always targeting his shoulder. However, there's an exception in the episode Psychic Terror where he gets shot in the chest. Similarly, Vince Romano often suffers head injuries, resulting in concussions or temporary blindness. Jim Corrigan's storyline frequently involves his ex-lovers being somehow connected to the antagonists, often leading to their arrest or demise. Stacy Sheridan, when going undercover, regularly finds her cover blown, leading to her becoming a hostage, as seen in episodes like Trackdown and Outcall. The series, known for its action-packed narrative and character-driven plots, presents a compelling blend of drama and suspense, keeping viewers engaged throughout its run. These recurring themes add depth to the characters and contribute to the show's overall appeal. William Shatner, known for his role in Star Trek, appeared on Saturday Night Live in 1986. During the skit, he poked fun at various aspects of his career, including T.J. Hooker, his recently canceled series. In one segment, he addressed Star Trek fans, telling them to get a life. Later, he used this phrase as the title of his Star Trek fan memoir. Hooker's full legal name was Thomas Jefferson Hooker. Shatner's daughter wrote an episode of T.J. Hooker called Partners in Death in 1986. T.J. Hooker first aired in 1982, inspired by the success of SWAT. It showcased officers from the fictional LCPD, similar to but legally distinct from the LAPD. Despite its popularity, ABC axed the show in 1985. However, CBS picked it up for late night slots, airing new episodes for the 1985-86 season. Production stopped in spring 1986, but CBS kept rerunning it until September 1987, coinciding with the debut of Star Trek The Next Generation. William Shatner played T.J. Hooker, whose initials stood for Thomas Jefferson, unlike his role as Captain Kirk in Star Trek, where he was James Tiberius. This was the second series where Shatner's character had J and T initials in his name. T.J. Hooker, a TV series from the early 80s, saw notable cast changes throughout its run. Stacy Sheridan's departure marked Heather Locklear's 21st birthday. The introduction of Officer Jim Corrigan happened in Payday Pirates, while Lieutenant Pete O'Brien debuted in The Lipstick Killer, revealing his backstory. Fran Hooker's relocation to Oregon was mentioned by their daughter in The Ransom. Interestingly, several actors from the series appeared in the Star Trek franchise. Vic Tabak starred as Jojo Croco, Gary Graham appeared in Cold Fire, Ike Eisenman was in The Wrath of Khan, and Leonard Nimoy featured in Vengeance is Mine. Notably, Mark Alamo, Ray Wise, and Miguel Ferrer also made appearances. William Shatner, known for his role in Star Trek, appeared in five series with Leonard Nimoy, including T.J. Hooker. Their collaborations spanned across various decades and genres. In summary, T.J. Hooker showcased cast changes and had ties to the Star Trek franchise, with William Shatner appearing alongside Leonard Nimoy in multiple series. T.J. Hooker debuted on a significant day in history, coinciding with the creation of a new area code and the birth of actor Max Remilt. Throughout the series, viewers often witnessed smoke billowing from the tailpipe of the patrol car during pursuits, a result of using aged vehicles sourced from police surplus. Despite the car's condition, the show's protagonists, Hooker and Romano, navigated high-speed chases with skill. It's worth noting that the car, a 1977 Dodge Monaco, was notably older than vehicles typically used by the LAPD at the time, which favored newer models for patrol work. Surprisingly, actor Richard Hurd is younger than William Shatner, despite their on-screen dynamic. These tidbits add depth to the viewing experience, offering insights into the show's production and the actors involved. The TV series was initially planned as The Protectors, but the focus shifted to Hooker after noting William Shatner's prominence. The series premiered shortly after filming for Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan ended. The first season aired during the post-production phase of Star Trek II. Hooker and Romano's unit number is 4 Adam 30, while Corrigan and Sheridan's is 4 Adam 16. This format is detailed in Adam 12 Log 15, exactly 100 yards. The series setting is Hollenbeck Police Station. Various unit types and divisions are also featured in the LAPD. These include patrol units, SWAT, detectives, and more. The show presents various police activities and operations. T.J. Hooker is a TV series featuring William Shatner in the lead role. Created by Rick Husky, the series revolves around a tough and dedicated police officer. 
Interestingly, whenever he gets shot, it's typically in his right shoulder. Rick Husky was adamant about having William Shatner play the titular role. Shatner, widely recognized for his portrayal of Captain James T. Kirk in Star Trek, is best known to the public for his roles in both Star Trek and T.J. Hooker. The show gained popularity due to Shatner's performance and its action-packed plotlines. Overall, T.J. Hooker remains a significant part of William Shatner's career in television. William Shatner starred in a series where he played the titular character known for its portrayal in Robocop as T.J. Laser. Peter Weller, who co-starred with Shatner, later appeared in Star Trek Into Darkness as the future grandfather of Kirk's son. Shatner reunited with Heather Locklear, a former co-star, on an episode of Boston Legal. Throughout the series, he had girlfriends, typically younger actresses. His ex-wife characters were also notably younger than him. Shatner's real-life marriages reflected this trend, with his partners progressively younger, his fourth wife being 30 years his junior.